Yo, it's me, Chris. You guys see today, I wear the Pizza Hat Mia. With this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, aka Kim the Bears, aka Woo! Bill Different, aka Chubby Rain himself, the flesh of the guy your mom is always talking about. And today, we're gonna do something that's considered the hardest task on this planet. Let them know what it is. We're watching a movie. And what movie are you watching tonight, though? We are watching, you know, following the theme, of course, The Princess Diaries. Wow, we are watching The Princess Diaries. If some of you are smart, you would realize, as he mentioned, that we followed the theme this week. Films consisting the word princess in it. Because we thought it would be cool. <laughs> so, you know, who's also cool? People on the Patreon. They are cool individuals that we love very much. They can do whatever they set their mind to. Great people. We have those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Now, you guys are also wonderful people who can accomplish anything you put your mind to. You're a wonderful people and you can do anything and everything. We love you! But now we have those of you who are not subscribed to the channel. Now, you guys will never amount to anything. Whatever you put your mind to, it always fails. You never succeed. You're an absolute loser in a disappointment to your family and most importantly to us you can simply subscribe to the optical channel right now at this very moment and you too can be a winner and accomplish great things and your life you know what to do the choice is yours you're literally choosing to lose so make the right decision right now get now. to them please the princess diary He wants to go. Let me down. Let me down. Are you feeling confident? Not really. That's cool to have in your house. Okay. Just, instead of using a I staircase. Like one of those, honestly. Yeah, just slide on down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> have a nice day. I doubt it. <laughs> oh, man. What a miserable sack of shit. Well, his garbage can just got assaulted. Uh, it's just a scooter, man. I hate electric scooters. I'm just putting that out there. I'm Lana. Anna. Fontana. Go Lion. Dude's got frosted tips! Frosted tips? Show them! Oh, oh, how old is this male? Oh, well, no. Oh, oh, my God. This is awesome. Whoa! It's wow! Terrible. Okay, it looked bad from afar, but that looks worse. Good morning, Lily. Lily's friend? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! That was kind of rude, actually. What the hell? Yo, that's tough! Oh, oh. Oops. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Wait, oh. how, the, how the hell you didn't see her? Grow some eyes on your ass, loser! Yo, bro needs glasses. What the hell? <laughs> what? What the f- Soft kisses oh, no. so She likes this guy. You're so rude. Good, you know, for a second there, I thought you were going a crowd on me. Uh, <laughs> negative. God, they look like losers, the two of them. Holy shit, man. I think Grove should dump the uniforms and we have casual dress all year round. Yeah! Why the drum? Does it really make a difference, asshole? Who cares? Did we need the drum? You like our uniforms. They're equalizers. Now we'll hear the rebuttal from Mia. Good, good, good movie. Good movie. Good movie. Good movie. We'll present the negative argument against our proposition. Negative! What's what's wrong with, uh... I think... Um, what a frisball. <laughs> frisball? Frisball. Shut up, shithead. I... <laughs> See, casual... Ca oh, don't do it, don't do it. Don't walk out! Oh! No! No, not that one! Oh, look out, she's gonna hurl! Oh, no. Cover the tuba! Oh, that's fine, she went and did it outside. It's okay, okay. Well, that could have been worse. Like, if yeah. you just, like, literally, like, splash those SeaWorld their asses, man, that would have been a little bit weird. I am never going to be a good public speaker. Just call them and tell them I want to be a mime. A <laughs> mime! Oh, professional mime. All right. Grandmother called. Is she alive? What? The live one. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. This is the first time she's ever contacted us. What she want? She's in town. She wants to have tea. Oh. Tea? Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. What kind of shit song is that? Come and tap you on the shoulder. I don't like it. You can keep your stupid star in your pocket, all right? You shove it up your ass. <laughs> um, oh, be careful. Please don't crush my soy nuts. 
Soy nuts! Okay. Right this way. Is someone plotting to blast Grandma? I don't know. You've got a great place. Thank you. Well, let me look at you. <laughs> it's a goofy smile. Young. Is that good? Thank you. Yeah, is that... And y you look so... Old? Oh, young? Clean. Oh. Uh, Charlotte? Clean. Clean. Before I shoot, I have something I want to give you. Oh, cool. Here. Oh. What is that? Cookies? Thank you. Of course you would take cookies. <laughs> I was hoping for some cookies. That was my great-grandmother's. <laughs> I will take good care of it. <gasps> You rattling it? Why are you shaking and baking it? Have you ever heard of Edouard Christophe Philippe Gerard Rinaldi? Who? He was the crown prince of Genovia. What about him? Edouard Christophe Philippe Gerard Rinaldi was your father. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Your my father was the prince of Genovia. Uh huh. You're joking. You are Amelia Mignonette Thermopolis Rinaldi, princess. Of Genovia. Okay. Me? Why on earth would you pick me to be your princess? Since your father died, you are the natural heir to the throne of. Oh, Dad's dead? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm royal by marriage. You are royal by so, blood. You okay. can rule. We ruin? Queen Clarice, my expectation in life is to be invisible, and I'm. <laughs> I can give you books. You will study languages, history, art, but books! I'm no princess. I am still waiting for normal body parts to arrive. I refuse to what? rule and rule a country. And do you want another reason? I don't want to be a princess. Oh, uh. Interesting tactic to simply run away. Can you see me walking one step behind someone for the rest of my life? I was scared. Well, living with a mother who lied to me for 15 years scares me. Woo! Damn! Man, that was kind of hot, man. Shit. That is a really big secret to keep, though, man. Yeah. We were going to tell you when you were 18 years old. But when your father died, things changed, Mia. We wanted to protect you. Did Dad get assassinated? Yeah, he is a prince, right? So probably got assassinated. You are so lucky you don't know who your parents are. It's Fat Louie! It is Fat Louie! He's cute! I've never written in a limo. He admitted bitterly to himself as he crossed to the open window. <laughs> Here it is. Why did we cut to the cat? <laughs> Dude, that was like one of my favorite transitions ever. Philippe was ready to be king. And then the Terrible accident. Assassination! Are you two waiting to take me on a talk show somewhere to let me know that I have a twin sister who's a duchess? You have a cousin who's a contessa, but actually we call him Pookie. Pookie! Go well. Will you just Why listen to your Pookie? grandmother? Is Pookie really a cool nickname? No, it's not. You ignored me for 15 years and you lied to me. Oh. Families don't do stuff like that to one another, okay? Woo! Ah! She got you there. Yo. Please, just come down from there. You know, most kids hope for a car for their 16th birthday, not a country. I mean, I didn't even get a car at 16, dude. Yeah. Mia promises neither to accept nor reject your offer to be royal until this grand ball. And then she makes her decision. Okay. You have two limousines? One is yours. Do you raise limousines too? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, can we 86 the flags, please? No. The flags allow me to park anywhere. We keep the flag. Anywhere? Wow. Where do I get one? You can call me Joe. Joe Meister. Joey? <laughs> Joester. <laughs> Joey. No. <laughs> uh, are we going to a wedding? Uh, no, school. No, this is the uh, surprise ride. Go me aside. This is Joe. Joe speaks Japanese! Joe's dope. Chew, you, you know, you look like Shaft. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> right, right? Oh my yeah, god! I got it. I really do not like what she has going on with the whole hair thing. Yeah, it's, kind, it's quite hideous. She looks like she's straight out of Whoville. 
Great. Tell me, Mia, is it true about your speech? Are you really speaking at the bulimic convention? So you can speak and barf at the same time? Wow! Yo, that's, that was kind of rude. That's, shit. That was actually really mean. Holy yeah, that shit. was genuinely mean. Wow. I'm going to let this one go, Mia. Try catching, all right? Are you sure? It's slow pitch. You can catch it on a bounce. Don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> if you could climb some rocks, you could... Oh, shit! Ah! I didn't mean to, and I'm. Can I help you? Ice, get me ice. Right in her face too. I remember doing something like that to someone when I was a kid. It was like a, a ball plastic thread? baseball bat. I actually smacked him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and it went bang! <laughs> I really swung that thing. That's funny, man. Oh, oh man. man, rest in peace, that guy. <laughs> Good memories. He fixes cars. He plays guitar, and he can sing. He is so hot. He is wicked sweet. He shit! Bro, with that haircut, I don't think so. So, what's the diagnosis for my baby? $400. Wait, that's actually not too bad. This would be cool, huh? This is not my day. I'll do some labor free. Thanks, but I'll talk to my grandma about it. Yo, sick. Using our new connections? Ooh, I'll do some labor free. She's my sister's best friend. Yeah, that's the hardest place to be. Between friend and, uh, friendlier, huh? Woo! When walking in a crowd, one is under scrutiny all the time. So we don't schlump like this. <laughs> what is that? We drop the shoulders, we think tall, Think tall. tuck under, and we transfer the... <laughs> Any person, for that matter, go into a parent-teacher conference and come out with a date. Mia, Mr. O'Connell is not married. He's not living with anyone. Plus, he's not pierced, tattooed, or hair plugged. Do you realize how rare or fine that is south of Market Street? She's so judgmental. Wow. Good. Hey. Wonder why. It's, it's fine. I just can't do anything right anymore, can I? No. But Fat Louie can. I love the random Fat Louie appearances. Why are they- Come on, come on. <laughs> just block one, Mia, just block one. I can't do this, I'm a girl. What am I, a duck? No. <laughs> so I was watching you earlier and um, you're way tense, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta use your hands. The ball comes to you over here. He's Wait, he's actually being helpful here. He's not being an ass. Oh, you gotta be the ball. Be the ball! Be the, the ball! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> okay, but he's not that bad. No, he's actually an okay guy, all right. I thought he was gonna make fun of her for a second there. But he just really likes the ball. Yeah. Now the dance is here. Okay. Very sedate, right? From the hips. In place. Why is she moving her head like a dog? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, no, 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 this dance is between a waltz and a tango, you see? Okay, cool. It's a wango? A wango? Wango! Hit him with the wango real quick. There oh, you go. All it? right. Yes. Grandma, I spun without hurting anyone. <laughs> <laughs> spin, 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 yes, yeah, done. Better. It's coming along. Now you may go home. Thank you! <laughs> Such an accurate kid way of like responding to that. Oh. Joe, you devil. You've been wearing black too long. Oh. Joe, you're you see? Sly fox. This is why you don't need a man with hair plugs. That's it, man. That's it right there. Look the less at hair, the more suave. Yeah, look at him go. Oh my god. God damn, Joe. Careful there. Get the hell get out, get out, get out, get out! Let Joe do his thing! Joe's on fire, baby. Don't stop him now. Make your beach party. Oh, sorry. S sorry. Hey, hey, about to bed. Sorry. Now, he barely even acknowledged her existence. Yeah, that was pretty rough. Shazam. Cute, Jeremiah, but a way to a girl's heart is not by treating her like a vending machine. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he tried the magic and it... Where is the beautiful girl? And my granddaughter, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst reaction you can get. Oh my wow. god. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave and come back and be surprised. Ah. Charlotte, watch him like a hawk. What's he doing? Cutting hair. Oh my god. 
He's all right. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh! You wear contact lens? Well, I have them, but I don't really like to wear them that much. Now, you do. <laughs> Glasses! You broke my brush. No. <laughs> Fair play! A princess. Oh wow, okay, that's a major difference. The haircut blues. Lily! Let's hope he doesn't end up the same way. <laughs> Yo, shit! Ah, man! I'm just saying. Michael, don't always think you can get a rod with us and... Oi, who destroyed you? <laughs> destroyed? destroyed? I know that it's, it's a little you know, straighter and... Shorter. Weirder. An attractive weirder. No, it's not attractive. An attractive weirder. Hmm. My man. You have one of these bags? You know, we could hawk that and feed a whole third world country. Am I right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you used to care more about oh. what was inside your head instead of on it. Come on, Mia. That's Come on. Up. Like, what's that wrong was with- really mean. Yo, take it easy, she, man. She, That's just rude. She had a little effort put into, like, taking care of herself a little more, and it's just like... And you're kind of like, treating her like she's ugly. And now you're- now- Dude, that's- that's not a good friend. No, that's a terrible friend. Joe, take her out. You should know that no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Eleanor Roosevelt said that. Yes. Another special lady like yourself. Good job, Joe. That's my Joe. Joe. That's my Joe. That's actually a good point. That's because your hair sucks. Get off mine. Ow. Yeah! Thank you. Holy shit! Here is your friendship charm. I'm taking it off and it's going in the dirt. Don't do that, okay? Just... <laughs> <laughs> French Revolution. Oh, Mr. O'Connell? Um, there's a school rule that says nobody's allowed to wear hats in class. And I don't think anybody... Oh my god. No, oh Lana. God. I mean, I'm sorry, but hats are against the dress code. Goodbye, hat. Adios, hat. That's it. You did your best, hat. Mama mia! <laughs> Look who's trying to fit in now. Really it's good. a wig. Ooh, looks like she got a head transplant. Well, I think it rocks. A head transplant? I would personally like to learn about vault hair. Okay, Lily, okay. Okay, everybody settle down now. Quiz time. All right, she's a good friend now. Hell yeah, all right. You wave to them and acknowledge them gracefully. Hello. No, no, not quite so big because, of course, it's very, very exhausting after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Some moms help the kids with homework. We do this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's shot. Oh. That's kind of fun, though. What are you doing this Saturday night? Oh, are you? He's going ready? in! Rehearsing some new things. Mm. We got two new songs. Oh, yeah? Plus, surprise, we got the new parts for your. Stang. Oh, yeah. Stang! Oh, I like the stang thing. Okay, well, uh, just like a, a date? No. <laughs> Dude, come oh, on! Oh! Music, mm -hmm. cars. Well, what did it include? Pizza. Of course, pizza is yes, 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 yes. good. good. Oh, I'll yeah, go with him. He won me. Not you, I don't even know you. <laughs> Waiting for you. Right here, Princess. Really? Who's your favorite actor? Why are they calling her Princess? Mia! Oh, we had someone find out. The phone's ringing off the hook. What? The Queen is coming. <gasps> to Grove High School. Oh, no. I don't know who told on me. We'll get to the bottom of this. Where's your ticket? <laughs> it was pride and ego who had drove me to know that royalty would see one day the beauty was mine, the hair was mine. <laughs> Was responsible for. You could tell his evil was showing. He wasn't clean shaved on the top. 100%. He had a little, a little bit of wisps. Happy. Yeah. Mia is also the only yeah. grandchild of Queen Clarice Rinaldi, whose husband, King Rupert, passed away last year. All right. Oh, yeah. Shoot noobs, baby. H. Woo! All right, Damn. Joe. He's in the wrong line of business. Get him on the court. Number one, no privacy. Number two, you always have to look just right. Number three. Oh, oh shit, God! That hurt. At the grand ball, 
you enter with the queen. But at the state dinner, you enter unaccompanied. Shoulders back. Smile. Oh, that was a good tra cool transition. Wow, nice transition. Someday we will own Zenobia again, and you will be queen. And your face will be on a boat. Who's this ghoul? What? Shut up. He looks like that dad from Corpses Brock. The Genovian pear market is blossoming, <laughs> if your pardon's a pardon. <laughs> oh my god! It's Billy on the bone. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> nice. Nice save. So what was happening with the ice bucket? Oh, um, I... Yeah, I, I just set one of the guests on fire. And, oh, okay. Oh, 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 wow. Oh. What is it? I'm frozen. Oh, cool. She didn't realize it was frozen. What should we do? Well, we should take that much too. Let's do the same thing. Never experienced that instant headache when you eat ice too quickly. No. <laughs> I love this guy! Oh, man, he's great. Oh, no. Just leave it, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it, just leave it. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Was that my fault? Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah, we got more grapes. Yeah, we, we just laugh about it. Don't worry. Yeah, it actually didn't go that bad, at, you know. Do should have looked where he's walking though. Like, oh, hundred percent. That's kind of on him. I believe that's more his fault. Yeah, but um, either way, that didn't go as bad as it could have. Why don't we cancel lessons for today and just have some fun? Fun. Fun. I want to show you my baby. <laughs> oh my god. That was not a great way to put it. Holy no, shit. Without the context, you could see like the- That was a heart attack the, waiting to happen. The look of fear. What you do mm -hmm. is you put a quarter in, and I then see. you grab his hand. And then you uh, press the button. Yeah. And um... Nice. Just in case. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You enjoy this humiliation? What? I would shoot that thing. I hate it. Thing laughing? I hate it. Go, Kill go. It. Come on, Grail! Yeah, go, yeah, go, double go, team go, it! Go. Kill it! Yeah. Loser ass robot! Whoa, why is so, that? That's a lot of mustard. My father always hey, me man, that's, that's what you need on. Shut up, man. You need mustard. Well, here goes. Corn dog it up. Corn dog it up! Why? It's delicious. Of course it is. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah! Uh oh. Mia! Yeah. Mia! Yeah. Break! Break! <gasps> oh shit! Down here! Oh my god! Driving without a license, accompanied by an adult whose license expired 45 years ago. Whoa! No town, no city, no country can function peacefully if its officers and its transportation engineers don't follow the letter of the law. Okay. I would be pleased. Ma'am, we're, we're not all that. Oh, oh, but you most certainly are. Oh my god. Genovian uh, order of the. Uh, Genovian Order of the Robes. Oh, oh, oh ooh. Ooh. ooh! Oh. oh. Won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have a saber? Oh, I've got an umbrella. Uh, I have an emergency brake. This will do fine. <laughs> I dub thee. Artie Washington of San Francisco, man. Arthur Washington, and I dub thee. Bruce McIntosh of San Leandro. Bruce McIntosh. Bruce McIntosh. Please rise. Well, we will have to go and tell Bernice. <laughs> We're in short. Okay, well, well, chivalry ain't. We're in short. Do you need a lift home? Oh, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Come along, Mia. Goodbye, trolley people. <laughs> Goodbye, trolley people. That was very smart. Now, dude, that was gaslighting. Yeah, 100%, yeah. <laughs> Would you consider you and the princess best friends? Um, I, I would definitely say that. I mean, we, we do everything together. We shop oh together, my. we get our hair done together. Pieces of shit! 
Charlotte, you two must be twins, huh? Yes. No, I don't have any sisters, but I do have a cat. Fat Louie. <laughs> fat Louie, baby. That's my man. Big Fat Louie. Man. Oh, please don't. Hi. <laughs> no. Um, Saturday night's the big beach party. Beach party? Uh-huh. What, what? Well, I think it'd be cool if we went together. No. Oh, you yikes. have plans. Ooh. No, 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 no. no. Do not Don't forget do that. the plan. Do not forget. The, it's Don't a, forget. Oh God, no. She's gonna ditch the mop. Oh, 100 percent. Princess. You will never guess. Josh Bryan just asked me. Oh my God! Don't kill him, please. <sighs> he asked me to go to the Baker Beach. Bang! <laughs> he did end up like John Lennon. No! I could come by the garage next week and listen to your band play then. Oh God! Yeah. She yeah. shot and killed him! Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. God damn! Oh. God! I'm sorry, man! I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. That was... Yeah. God! Oh, oh shit, man! God! No. Actually, I'm kind of excited. I think I might get my first real kiss. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, Brian. That Backstreet Boy clone you've had a crush on. <laughs> Backstreet Boy clone? boy clone he's a sailor i thought he was never nice to you a sailor oh well i don't know he is now ah uh, that was not a good answer you're gonna be out for the summer you know what's on oh, your wow, mind free fruit, how are you gonna okay. find that summer love and if you do the josher how do you know if it's i'm down for the free fruit why would you call your boat the josher it's saturday night and welcome to my cable show shut up and listen <laughs> Just like shut that. up and listen. I like that. Until she arrives, I've asked Grove's magic master, Jeremiah Hart, to entertain us with some sleight of hand. Okay, cool. How did they find me here? Oh. Hey, wait, everybody, you're on TV. Come back. What an asshole. Look, they can't see us. We can't see them. We're all alone in this little shack. Ah, don't do it. Don't oh. do it, you piece of shit. Kind of cozy in here. Oh my God! Well, stop. Be here with the new man. The new? Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of. Oh, it's kind of weird. What, the new? He only likes the new version. Watch out! He's coming. Oh no! Oh no! Her worst nightmare in the net. Oh! Josh? This isn't romantic. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of sucky. You're so wonderful. Thank you. <sighs> no, actually, I mean you give me one. Oh my! God. God! Thank you, Jeremiah, for your puppery of prestidigitations for the past hour. Obviously, Princess Mia has a problem appearing hour. tonight. Hour? And I'm sure she has a good excuse. Yikes, and they have it on camera. Oh, shit! Oh, God, no. Oh, uh, no. Oh, God. Oh my god! That is disgusting! We're gonna make sure no one bothers you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, I guess. That's. It's so great of you. Thank you so much. Oh no! Oh shit! Of course. Of course. Oh my god! You just scared it's getting just worse. All assholes. But what started out as innocent fun soon turned into allegedly too much fun. Oh god. I won't come to the ball then. Well, of course you should come. You're still family. Just because you don't want to be our princess doesn't mean we're sending you into exile. <laughs> exile. Why didn't she have enough common sense to deal with this? She's only 15. Yeah. True. You know, I'm saying as a grandmother, you might have been too harsh on your granddaughter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Wise words. How you broke my brother's heart, or how you stuck me with Jeremiah during my cable show doing pick a card, pick a card, pick a card. I'm sorry, okay? What was that? I'm not gonna be a princess. You're not? No. But I want you to be. Huh? What? The green monster of jealousy came out because you were Miss Popular and, and I thought I was losing my best friend, so I got angry and upset and hurt. Okay, understandable. Told you, I need an attitude adjustment. 
<laughs> That's very self-aware. Wow is having the power to affect change, make people listen. How many teenagers have that power? What more of a miracle do you want? Way too many nowadays. Yeah, unfortunately. Tomorrow night is the Genovian Independence Day Ball, and to make up for my Missing Your Cable show, I'm inviting you. Ooh. Oh! I don't want to flunk you in gym class. Come on, you can do it. Keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> yeah, right in his face, man. Oh, come on, girls. It's a ball, not a snake. <laughs> <laughs> True! A ball. Okay, it's all right. Show a piece of it. It's hey, okay. you hit it. That's great. Just good focus. start, good start. A little higher. Okay. Okay. Kill him! Please kill him. Someone needs to shoot this guy. Pepperoni. Oh! oh. oh. In the freaking beans, baby! Oh my god! Safe! And you pass. Nice job, God damn! Are you hungry or thirsty? No. Oh, there it is. Mm. Um, thank you so much for doing this for me. It's really, really great of you. I didn't do it for you. Doc lets my right. man practice. Right, of course. I help with the cars. Um, oh. Woo! Ah! Woo! I know you're still mad at me for blowing you off. And yep. Yep. I'm yes, really sorry I did. Um, but I am going to try to make it up to you. Don't How bother. How are you going to do that? I'm, I'm wearing this great dress that I can't breathe in, and Lily's got a date, and... Josh looks better in the tux. Oh. Da shit! Ah! Da! Michael, my man! I really want you to be the one I share it with. You don't have to wear a tux. <laughs> you can wear sweatpants for all I care, you know? You don't, don't worry about me. I just consider myself royally flushed. <laughs> Woo! Ah, you hit her with the bow too! God damn, Michael, you savage! God damn! Damn! Dude, he really, uh... Damn, dude. The perfect nerd couple, Jeremiah and Mia. Oh my, my and God, just die! That is such a cute cheerleading outfit. It's so clean cut. <laughs> I just, I bet it goes with anything. Of course it does! I bet it goes with anything! Oh. Wow. You will never stop being a jerk. Van got code! Van got Got code! Code! Van got Mia! Toodles! Damn, you just got code! Mrs. Gupta, did you see what she did to me? Send it out for dry cleaning. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it's a present for your 16th birthday. Oh, the diary. Father. Wow. Oh, wow. It's locked. If you open the locket I gave you, it becomes the key. That's kind of cool. Whoa, kind of neat. I like that. You are first and foremost my granddaughter. Mm. A hug! Oh. Thank you, Dad, but I can't be a princess, okay? Okay. Fat Louie. He's, he's hiding Louis. it! Fat he's Louis. the spy! Come on, Louie. We're going on a trip. We're going to Colorado. Oh, no, free Fat Louie! He's too fat! It is a custom in my family to pass on a piece of wisdom when one reaches this age. I pass it on to you as my father passed it on to me. Hmm. Courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the judgment that something else is more important than fear. Ooh! Damn! Damn. That goes hard! I loved your mother very much, mm. and still think of her often. Happy birthday, my Mia. All my love, your father. Damn. Yo, that, that really, uh... That went hard on that letter, man. That got them words, man. Shit, man. Don't do this, baby! M and M's. You had him in M and M's. Yeah, that's it. It's the way to a man's heart. Pizza and M and M's. She went that way, then that way. Two minutes ago. Thank you very much. Bro could have died right there. Is this punishment for driving without a licensed driver in the front seat? <laughs> you wouldn't happen to be running away, would you? What? Just like this? No, I'm going to a ball. My fellow Genovians and honored guests. Genovians. For some reason, it makes me think of an alien race. 
Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh, they're there! <laughs> Yo, let's go! She's styling a wet, sort of grunge look hairdo and is wearing a sweatshirt, jeans, and docks. Mia, would you nice. care to say a few words? Um, yes. Why didn't we dress like her? We look like idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mia. Um, it stopped raining. <laughs> Hey, no rain! No rain! See, if I were princess of Genovia, then my thoughts and the thoughts of people smarter than me would be much better heard. And just oh, maybe those thoughts could be turned into actions. Mm. Mm. I choose to be forevermore Amelia Mionette Thermopolis Rinaldi, princess of Genovia. The frog croaks. Nice. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This was my very first tiara. I was rather fond of it. I'm hoping you will be too. Wow. Sparkly. He actually looks human now. Yeah, and he can actually dance as well, huh? They had the same idea I had, but now the garden is ocupado. <laughs> My man Joe knows what's up. He's a devious little guy. That he is, that he is. He's going on me. Because you saw me when I was invisible. Mm, that is good! Mm. Royal doesn't mean I'm any different. I mean, come on, I'm really the same person. And yes, I will have to love to know me a little bit, but I'm still gonna go to school. And... Well, woo! That's my man. Shit, they're hitting the robot, they're hitting the, the robot! robot. Oh! And get out of here! Joe's got something going on! Be gone! Woo! Damn! Damn, he's devious! Ah! That's my Joe! We just finished The Princess Diaries. Good movie. Actually, a very, very good movie. Not what I expected. Actually, much better than I was expecting. It's actually really funny, too. Like, I liked a lot of the... Very funny and thoroughly entertaining. Um, again, it's just like... I think, like, anybody knows, like, I guess... When I see a movie called The Princess Diaries, I have zero interest. I would not watch this on my own time. I would never care to choose to see this. But it turns out it's actually a really good movie in which I actually would recommend it to some people. It's yeah. not a bad movie. It's actually really good. Yeah. That's it. I, I was surprised with that. Um, also, Fat Louie. Fat Louie was like the greatest thing about this man. I love that we randomly would just have like dialogues at our house and then camera pants to Fat Louie. We get Louis. Fat Louie for like five seconds. We're gone. That's it. Fat Louie transition. Gone. Fat gone. Louie. Gone. Fat Louie. Bam. That was crazy. I, I, if I had one gripe with this movie, I think it needed more Fat Louie. More Fat Louie. More Fat Louie. We even got Fat Louie. As royalty at the end. I thought that was a big thing. Uh, Fat Louie was always royalty? Uh, Fat Louie was always a king. True. The one true king. True. The only king in my heart. That's it. <laughs> yeah, kind of like the just the overall message uh, of the film, you know? Which is? It's kind of like, you know, never to lose yourself in a sense. Mm. You know? Because she right away started, like, getting a little in her head like oh wow now people are being nice to me and she kind of fell for it very quickly yeah it's like you can't well, like you, you have to also take in consideration that she used to always believe she was invisible in terms of like no one yeah. would pay attention and now she, she would never get attention and now and she's getting too much attention the people she wanted to acknowledge her started doing so but yes. of course they were not the right people no they never were i think it's another good lesson that you have to surround yourself with people that are good for you yeah. You know, if you surround yourself with bad people, bad things are going to happen. It's not, it's not even just that, but you should surround yourself with people who actually put effort into you. Yeah, people who actually like you. you yeah. Know who you are. Like her best friend, Lily. Like, the most accurate portrayal of friendship, it was that moment there where they kind of, like, talk shit to each other, and then they just go on like nothing happened. That's the best. You already know, super good friends. That's a good friendship right there. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was funny. He's like, you have your bad haircut. Your Yo, bad that hair. was kind of... That was I mean, felt that man. deep within. Was I was she like, had the Whoville look going on, too, man. Like, God damn, that was mean. Yeah, dude, that was... Well-deserved, though. Well-deserved. That was nasty, man. Yeah. Absolute devious. Yeah, that... Woo. But, you know, it's through those uh, tribulations where they're just, like, they're still friends. Like, it, it doesn't really affect them that hard. Yeah. You know? 
you can kind of like shit talk your friends and you guys can kind of like just see past it very quickly. Essentially, yeah. It's and not shit talking for the sake of shit talking, but it's like necessary shit talk. Yeah. Well, you know, she just kind of like gets us the makeover. I, I'm like, she's kind of like pretty excited about it. You know, it's like it's. Well, kinda... you, you could also uh, you could also see it from uh, her friend's perspective as well, in the sense of how she thought she was losing her her best friend. Yeah. You know, now she's driving a limo. Now she's yeah. has a complete makeover. And the thing is, she, she's out of the loop. She doesn't know why these things are happening. Yeah. Like, so what's going these on? These changes are so drastic, and it's just like you know. Yeah. Am I, is it is the next change going to be me out of the picture? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I understand that completely. Like, it was just, again, just very valid feelings from both of them. Like, it was actually pretty nicely written. Yeah, you know, it, it, for me, it was it was like, yeah, sure, these are drastic changes and stuff like that, but I'm still who I am. You mm -hmm. know, just because physically I've changed doesn't mean I've fully changed. You know, I'm still the same person you've known forever, essentially. Yeah. You know? And then, uh, dude, the, whew, the poor mop head man, dude. Yo, Michael, I think his name is? Yep. Uh, dude, I... At first, I was making fun of him, and then I started to feel bad for him. Dude. Like, really bad I for him. I felt so horrible for him. When she was talking so excitedly about, oh, he invited me to the beach on the Sunday that you... Dude, it was just soul-crushing. I feel like there are a lot of guys out there who have been in Michael's position, man. And I don't I don't know how you guys do it, but stay strong. Stay strong, Stay guys. strong, man. You know, stay solid, because... Holy shit, dude. If you can get through that, you can get through anything, bro. Oh, 100%, man. That, that was so crushing. Yeah. Hey, we made plans, but it turns out this guy that I actually do like, who's better looking than you, by the way, I want to go hang out with him instead. We can put it off for next week. Especially when he, like, put work to get her car done, and he even offered to put in more effort without pay yeah. to really help her out. Bro, that was... the. Uh, Felt so bad for the dude. Bro. That, that's tough. That was a rough one. Like, man, like, I actually felt bad for making fun of him in the end. Yeah. 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 I still will never forgive him for the M&Ms on the keyboard, though. There's no it's excuse not, for I that. Don't, I don't know why that was never explained. Why were there M&Ms on it? Like, okay. Now, you could just justify... Bro just really likes... Well, she, well, she wrote sorry in M&Ms on his pizza. Yeah. So, I'm assuming... Does he just really like M&Ms? Is that, is that the product placement? Could that be the product placement? It's just M and M's, and they just made him have like some kind of like they're just M &M like addiction. Throw it on the keyboard, throw it everywhere, put it on the pizza. Make sure he likes M and M's, and it just justifies him throwing an M and M every now and then in there. Oh my god, that would be interesting. I, I feel like that could be it. M and M's, pears. I also, okay, pears well, could be product placement. Pear's not product placement, you idiot. It was like the national fruit or some shit for Genovia, but man. But why? I don't know. Everything I, every time I think of Genovia, I'm thinking of Genova from like Final Fantasy VII, man. That's the thing that keeps going on. I was thinking of Geonosians. Like that. Geonos <laughs> <laughs> of Star Wars. The yeah, the, the bugs. Geonosian. Geonos yeah, Geonosian I kept thinking Geonos of them, man. I was like, yeah, the bugs. Where the bugs at? Yeah, the bugs, man, from, uh, from Attack of the Clones. <laughs> yeah, man. I kept thinking of them for some reason. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see that. I see that. Yeah. All right. Um... Also, I really liked what was written in the letter at the very end. Dude, Dad... Dad, dad went hard, man. The, the writing from the... Dude, dad I guarantee you when he was writing that letter, man, it was literally just flames. <laughs> just, like, absolute flames with his writing. Dude. Yeah. That was incredible. Dad was probably writing this down. <laughs> Kill me now. I ain't gonna write better than this. No, for real, man? He knew that was And they were shit. like, really? Bang! Got him! <laughs> I, I like that they didn't even actually explain how he died, either. I'm assuming assassination. Like, I don't know, dude... <laughs> That would, that's like that's my well, first guess. Okay, it's my theory. He's royalty. He's he's dead at a young age. It's probably assassination. It has to be. We got no just. Did he have a heart attack? Was it medical? What the hell happened to him? Nothing. I assume it's assassination. I think Bullfrog Man assassinated him. Because if he's gone, he didn't know there was an heir. Oh, the so Bullfrog if, could rule. See, the Bullfrog could rule if there was no heir, and he had no idea of Mia's existence. Thus, meaning he probably assassinated him. That's what my like. That's my fan theory, like the Princess Diaries fan theory. You know, I believe it. I believe that frog. That's what I think someone. it is, man. That's got to be. Yeah, something like that. That's I don't trust no frog. I just wish I, we actually got to know. I, unless I didn't listen, because I didn't know Michael's name for like the longest of time until he told me. Yeah, because you're just called Mop Head or John Lennon. Lennon. John Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh man! Oh, yeah, I like the letter and what it said. Uh, where it's just like you know, you gotta let yourself uh, become. Um, you gotta let yourself kind of like become who you're meant to be, essentially. Or like you, you like you can't become like essentially. 
you can rule Genovia, essentially. Not just that, but it's like, don't put yourself into a box and think, this is who I am. Yeah. You know? There's so much more to you, so much more for you to experience, so much more for you to understand. Don't just, like, keep yourself so closed off into the space of, the, no, this is who I have to be. Like, grow. Be, you know, like you saw, she you became a little, she became more confident. Yes. Not only in how you she did. looked and how she acted. Yes. But also, with, with the, even at the end when she was able to speak, she felt a lot more, like, less fear in it. Yeah. You know? And that all comes with that development and that experience. Yeah. You know, don't just close her off and accept yourself. Like, oh, I'm this invisible oh, thing. Or I, or I, I, like she kept saying, like, oh, you know, just tell them I won't do the public speaking. Like, you're already giving up. What do you mean? Yeah. Like, don't just set yourself well, to this standard that you just can't well, do this not stuff. Not only that, but most of the things that you're afraid of doing is actual, uh, these are, like, um, moments of potential growth. Yes. You know, there's a lot of things you're going to be scared of in terms of doing, and it's the simple things. You know, again, like public speaking. A lot of people are afraid of public speaking. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember back in high school, uh, I hated public speaking. I, I had such too. a hard time with it. Yep. I was never comfortable with it. But it, it, look at us now. Technically, we're doing public speaking uh, to thousands of people, essentially. Yeah. Or millions. I don't even know at this point, man. <laughs> you know, but it's quite incredible. It's just like, you have to throw yourself in there. Take the leap of faith and just do it. You know, there's there's no growth in, in comfort. For, for example, even doing this YouTube thing, when I started off, I didn't talk on a camera. I didn't talk on a mic. I didn't, I didn't even have any camera. I only had gameplay of a video game or some shit like that, right? Yeah. And then I developed. I started talking in my videos. I started showing myself. These are things I just didn't want to do. Yeah. But it's pushing myself out of my comfort and doing things that I don't want that it basically gave me everything I did want. Yeah. And that's kind of the key. Sometimes in life, doing these things that bring you massive discomfort can actually give you the things you genuinely want. And it's just realizing that. That you can't let fear control you forever or you're going to lose out on so many wonderful experiences in life. It, it, it's crazy that it, it's, these things that you fear are holding you back from, again, the potential growth that you have as a person. Yep. It, could bring you to the places that you want to go or the places you want to be. Yeah. You know, or it also, it allows you to become the person you want to become. You know, if you never kind of like get out of your comfort zone and do the scary things, you'll never change. You'll always be the same person. You'll always be that invisible person. Yeah. You know, you got to take charge of your life and do something. You know, you got to tackle it head on. Mm -hmm. You know, and just because it's okay to be afraid, you know, but you have to find courage and do these things. Yeah. You know. Uh, you know, mo everyone who's done it, it's not that they're fearless. It's just that they're courageous. They acknowledge their fear and know that they have to put it aside. And that there are, you know, yeah. There's moments where you have to understand that you have to, no matter what, just push on through and do it. Essentially, that's it. Especially if you truly want it. Yeah. I think uh, on that note, well, we're going to peace on out like me as father. Yeah. Uh, off screen, very vague. Uh, assassination. Possible assassination from a bullfrog. <laughs> so uh, we're going to see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah. Peace, Peace out, Girl Scouts. Fat Louie!